Ever wondered, how many push-ups should I do daily to build muscle? Well, you're not alone. Welcome to our latest deep dive where we untangle the web of science behind push-ups and muscle building. We've all asked ourselves that crucial question. How many push-ups per day is the magic number for muscle growth? In this exploration, we'll dissect the optimal number of push-ups you should be aiming for each day to effectively sculpt those muscles. We'll navigate through the factors that influence this number, like your personal fitness level, your unique body type, and your individual goals. By understanding the science of push-ups, you'll arm yourself with the ability to customize your workout routine, maximizing those all-important gains. Whether you're a fitness newbie or a seasoned gym-goer looking to elevate your chest gains, we're here with practical tips and insights to help you smash those goals. Remember, consistency is key in this journey, and we'll guide you on how to gradually up your push-up game, avoiding overexertion and ensuring consistent progress. So, stick around to learn how to maximize your muscle growth with the right number of push-ups. Let's dive into the science behind push-ups first. Push-ups are a compelling exercise because they harness the power of gravity to build your strength. When you lower your body to the floor, you're essentially lifting nearly two-thirds of your body weight using your chest, shoulders, and tricep muscles. This resistance is what helps stimulate muscle growth. You see, when you exert your muscles against resistance, tiny tears occur in the muscle fibers. These tears may sound detrimental but they're actually beneficial. Your body repairs these micro-tears during rest, building them back stronger and larger than before. This process is known as muscle hypertrophy. Now let's talk about the concept of progressive overload which is the gradual increase of stress placed upon the body during exercise. In the context of push-ups this could mean gradually increasing the number of repetitions, altering the speed at which you perform them, or even modifying the push-up variation to make it more challenging. The key to progressive overload is just that, progression. Your muscles adapt to the strain you put them under. If the strain doesn't increase over time, your muscles won't continue to grow. Therefore, doing the same number of push-ups every day won't lead to continuous muscle growth. Instead, you need to keep challenging your muscles by increasing the load or altering the exercise in some way. That's not to say you should be doing hundreds of push-ups a day to see results. It's important to strike a balance. Doing too many push-ups without giving your body time to recover can lead to overtraining, which can hinder your progress and potentially lead to injury. Understanding how push-ups affect your muscles is the first step to determining how many you should do daily. By considering the science behind push-ups and muscle growth, you can create a tailored plan that suits your fitness level and goals. This approach will help you avoid overtraining and make the most of your push-up workouts. Now, let's talk about the factors that influence muscle growth. Firstly, your fitness level plays a significant role. If you're a beginner, your body will respond differently to push-ups compared to a seasoned athlete. You may need to start with a lower number and gradually increase as your strength improves. For those who are more advanced, you may require more push-ups to challenge your muscles and stimulate growth. Next, let's consider body type. Every individual is unique, and our bodies respond differently to exercise. Some people naturally have more muscle mass and may find it easier to build muscle, while others may need to work harder. It's crucial to listen to your body and adjust your routine accordingly. Diet also plays a pivotal role in muscle growth. Building muscle isn't just about physical exercise, it's also about what you feed your body. Proteins are the building blocks of muscle, so ensure you're getting enough protein in your diet to support muscle growth and repair. This doesn't mean you need to consume protein shakes all day, but a balanced diet with a good amount of protein can go a long way in supporting your muscle building efforts. Lastly, let's not forget about rest. Rest is when your muscles repair and grow. Without adequate rest, you risk overtraining, which can lead to injuries and hinder your progress. It's essential to give your body time to recover between workouts. In summary, several factors influence muscle growth from push-ups. Your fitness level, body type, diet, and rest are all crucial elements to consider. It's not just about doing as many push-ups as possible. It's about understanding your body and tailoring your routine to suit your individual needs. Considering these factors will help you determine the optimal number of push-ups for your specific situation. So, how many push-ups should you do daily to build muscle? Determining your optimal number isn't a one-size-fits-all answer, but rather a personalized approach based on the factors we've previously discussed. Firstly, consider your current fitness level. 
If you're a beginner, you might start with a lower number, say 10 to 15 push-ups a day. This allows your body to adapt to the new exercise, reducing the risk of injury and burnout. For those more advanced in their fitness journey, you might already be comfortable with 50 or even 100 push-ups daily. But remember, it's not just about the quantity. The quality of each push-up, maintaining proper form and technique, is crucial for effective muscle growth. Next, take into account your body type. Ectomorphs, or those with a lean and delicate body structure, may need to start with a lower number and gradually increase as their strength develops. On the other hand, mesomorphs and endomorphs, who naturally have a more muscular or larger body type, might be able to handle a higher starting number. Your desired results also play a role. If you're aiming for endurance, you might perform a higher number of push-ups with less intensity. But if you're targeting hypertrophy or muscle size, you'd want to focus on doing fewer push-ups but with more intensity and slower controlled movements. Lastly, listen to your body. If you're feeling overly fatigued or experiencing pain, it's a sign you may be overdoing it. Start slow and gradually increase the number over time. This progressive overload approach ensures steady progress while minimizing the risk of injury. Remember, this is not a one-size-fits-all answer, but a starting point for you to find your optimal number. It's a journey of self-discovery and adjustment. So, take these guidelines, apply them, and see how your body responds. Keep track of your progress and adjust your daily push-up number as needed. It's all about finding that sweet spot that challenges you, but is also sustainable and effective for muscle growth. Now that we know the optimal number, how can you incorporate this into your routine? Let's delve into some practical tips to help you in your push-up training journey. Firstly, focus on your form. The effectiveness of your push-ups largely depends on how correctly you perform them. Start with your hands shoulder width apart and your body in a straight line from your head to your heels. As you lower your body, keep your elbows close to your sides and ensure that your chest nearly touches the floor. Then, push your body back up, maintaining the straight line. Secondly, avoid common mistakes. Don't let your hips sag or your back arch during the exercise. These mistakes not only lessen the effectiveness of the push-up but can also lead to injuries. Remember it's better to do fewer push-ups with correct form than more with poor form. Thirdly, pace yourself. It's essential to gradually increase the number of push-ups you do each day to avoid overexertion. Start with a number that's challenging yet achievable for you, then add one or two push-ups each day or every other day. This gradual approach will help you build strength and endurance over time. Lastly, listen to your body. If you feel pain or discomfort during the exercise, take a break. Push-ups are a demanding exercise and it's normal to need rest days for your muscles to recover and grow. So, don't be too hard on yourself if you can't do push-ups every day. Remember, consistency is key in push-up training. Stick to your routine and don't be discouraged by slow progress. Every push-up you do brings you one step closer to your muscle growth goals. With these tips, you'll be on your way to achieving your muscle growth goals through push-ups. So keep pushing, and you'll see the results in no time. So there you have it, the science-backed answer to how many push-ups should I do daily to build muscle. In this video we've unraveled the mysteries of push-up training, from understanding the science behind muscle growth to factors influencing your gains. Remember, your optimal number of push-ups depends on your fitness level, body type, and desired results. The goal is to find what works best for you and stick with it. Consistency and gradual increase are your best friends here. Don't rush into doing hundreds of push-ups a day. Start where you're comfortable and allow your body to adapt and grow stronger over time. This approach will ensure not only muscle growth but also your overall health and well-being. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more science-backed fitness content. Until next time, keep pushing!